Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel, Math with Mrs. O. I'm Ophelia Orate, principal owner of a school and a tutorial center, a math teacher, and an author of 21 math books. Today, we're going to have entrance exam review for a college, which you can use for your UPCAT, UP College Admission Test, ASET, Ateneo College Entrance Test, PUPSET, PUP College Entrance Test, USTEP, University of Santo Tomas Entrance Test, and so on and so forth. I hope I can be of help to all of you. Oh, don't forget, smash the subscribe button and hit the bell button. Problem number one. If the perimeter of a square is 16, then its area is... So here... We can uh, recall that the perimeter of a square is 4 times the side. We let x be the side of a square. Since the perimeter is 16, that would mean if you divide both sides by 4, you can get the measurement of each side of a square, which is 4 units there's no units here so units so the area is what the area is side square so x square so the area of a square is simply four square four times four is 16 square units so what's the correct answer the correct answer is letter c 16. problem number two Mark receives grades of 91, 88, 86, and 78 in four of his tests. What must he receive in his fifth test in order to average 85? Okay, so we have to add these four tests and then we let X be the score on the fifth test. Okay, so let's add. In other words, I'm having this uh, equation 91 plus 88 plus 86 plus 78 plus x. x is the grade on the fifth test divided by 5. Why divided by 5? Because there are five tests and you are getting the average of 85 that is the equation in algebra so all you have to do is to add all of this let's add 91 88 86 78 or oh, 8 plus 1 9 9 plus 6 14 plus 8 22 is that correct 8 9 10 15 8 plus 1 9 plus 6 15 15 plus 8 23 carry 2 so this is 9 plus 2 11 plus 8 11 plus 8 is 19 plus 8 27 plus 7 34 343 that would mean the sum of this four will be 343 plus x all over 5 equals 85. Now, you multiply both sides by 5. Why? 2 cancel 5 here. Remember, 5 here is 5 over 1. So, you will have 343 plus x equals 85 times 5, 5 times 5, 25, carry 2, 8 times 5, 40 plus 2, 425. So, x is 425 minus 343. There, you subtract that. 5 minus 3 is 2, 12 minus 4 is 8. You borrowed 1, so 82. So, that correct answer is 82. Or, all you have to do is this. 
You multiply 85 times 5 because there are 5 tests. 85 times 5, you get 425. Then subtract the sum total of the 4 tests. That's it. You can get the grade on the 5th test to get an average of 85. That's another option. Next is problem number 3. A store owner buys apples at 35 per dozen and sells them at 850 a piece. What is the approximate percent profit based on the cost? Okay. So so the price is 35 pesos per how many dozen? That would mean 12 pieces per dozen. And sells them at 850 per piece. So 8 0.51 piece so we have to multiply this by 12 so that we will know how much is the amount total amount of the 12 pieces or one dozen 5 times 2 10 carry 1 8 times 2 16 plus 1 is 17 5 times 1 is 5 8 times 1 is 8, add 0, 12, carry 1, 10. 1 point, so there's one decimal place, so 102, this is for the 12 pieces. So, the problem is asking for the profit, so therefore, 102 minus 35. So the profit is 2 minus 5 cannot be. Borrow 1, 12, this becomes 9. 12 minus 5 is 7. 9 minus 3 is 6. 67, this is the profit. Okay, now let's move on to the question. What is the approximate percent profit? So the profit is 67 based on the cost. So we're asking the question. 67 is what percent of the cost which is 35 there buys them at 35 per dozen now so to get x percent you divide both sides by 35 since the problem is just asking for the approximate percent so you can just approximate take note that if you cancel 35 here 67 is around 200% of 35, isn't it? 35 times 2 is 70. So, you pick, therefore, you pick the, the answer which is near, near double or 200%. So, which one here is near 200%? The correct answer is letter D. There, that's what that's how you do it in entrance exams. You should know how to approximate the nearest answer. Problem number four. If the degree measures of the angles of our triangle are in the ratio of 3 is to 4 is to 5, so let's say you have a triangle here, 3 of x, 4 of x, and 5 of x. What is the degree measure of the largest angle? The largest is the 5x. So, easy, right? All you have to do is to add all of this. 3x plus 5x plus 4x. 5, 9, 12. So, add them all. 12x equals 180. Why does this equation work? Because when you add the angles of a triangle, in geometry, the sum is equal to 180. So you divide both sides by 12 to solve for x, cancel 12, x is equal to 180 divided by 12, this is 1, 1 times 12 is 12, 8 minus 2 is 6, 60 divided by 12 is 5, 5 times 2, 10 carry 160 there. So 15 per part, the largest angle is 5x, so 15 times 5 is 25 carry to 75 so the largest angle is 75 degrees 
four. Problem number four. Problem number five. If y varies directly as x, and x is 25, when y is 5, what is x when y is equal to 10? Direct variation. So, uh, when you have direct variation like this, you write the equation first. So, y varies directly as x. y is equal to kx. k is the constant of variation. And x is 25, so let's plug in the value of 25 here for x. When y is 5, k is unknown, y is 5. Solve for k, so you divide both sides by 25. There, you cancel 25 here. So you're left with k is equal to, simplify it. 5 divided by 5 is 1, 25 by 5 is 5. So, K is 1 over 5. Then, what is X when Y is 10? You go back. So, Y is equal to KX. Y here is 10. Substitute 10. K is 1 fifth. Substitute 1 fifth times X. X is unknown. There. So, if you have a equation like this what is the fastest way again to multiply the reciprocal of one fifth so you multiply five over one to both sides there so x is cancelled i know i mean five is cancelled correction so x is equal to 10 times 5 is 50. the correct answer is 50 which is letter d problem number six what is the length of the altitude of an isosceles triangle if its base is 52 cm and the base angle are each 30 degrees? Okay, let me um, define first the parts of an isosceles triangle so that in case you will encounter problems like this, you will know which one is the base, which one is the vertex, and so on. So, by definition, an isosceles triangle, let's say triangle ABC, is isosceles if two sides are congruent. And then, by the isosceles triangle theorem, if two sides of a triangle are congruent, then the angles opposite them are also congruent. There. We call the non-congruent side here, line segment BC, to be the base there angle B and angle C are the base angles the base angles angle A is what you call the vertex angle and line segment AB and line segment AC are the legs because I heard from my students from Philippine Science High School and from Ateneo that in UP they most of the time do not give the figure they will just say the base angle is like this or the vertex angle is like this so you really have to know the parts of an isosceles triangle Let's go back to the problem. Problem number six. What is the length of the altitude there? Altitude. The altitude is the line segment which is perpendicular to the other side. So, for example, here, if this is X, line segment AX is an altitude. So, what is the altitude of the of an isosceles triangle. Let me write a triangle here. Oh, let's say this is triangle of e. Of an isosceles triangle, let's let us say there are the congruent sides. If its base is 52, the base is 52. You have an altitude from here, from O. Therefore, you can apply a theorem in geometry which states that the altitude from the vertex to the base 
bisects the base. So if this is 52, this will be 26 and this will be 26. Let's call this uh, E there. Let me repeat that. The altitude to the base of an isosceles triangle bisects the base. And the base angles are each 30. So that would mean this is 30 degrees and this is also 30 degrees. And this is unknown, the altitude. Mm. Do you now see that? There is a 30, 60, 90 mm. triangle. This is 60 degrees. Mm. Let me enlarge that so that you can see it clearly. This is F. This is 30. This is E. This is 90. This is 26. This is O. This one. And this is X. There. O. Now, this is 60 degrees, so you have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. What did you learn? In, in a 30, 60, 90 triangle, the side opposite the 60 degree angle, which is 26 here, is square root of 3 times the side opposite the 30 degree angle. So. Divide both sides by square root of 3. Cancel that. So x is 26 over square root of 3. But this is not yet simplified because there should be no radical in the denominator. So rationalize this by multiplying square root of 3 over square root of 3. This is now 26 square root of 3 all over 3 is x. That is the correct answer. That's the altitude. So the correct answer is A. Let us see in the choices there is a 26 there is 26 over square root of 3 and there is another one which is 26 square root of 3 over 3. This is the best answer. In an UPCAT exam, the simplified answer is always the best answer. Remember that. Let's move on to problem number 7. Mr. Donato's salary is increased from 400 pesos to 600 pesos a day. What was the percent of increase in his salary? Okay, so how much was the increase in Mr. Donato's salary? 400 to 600, so there was a 200 pesos increase. The problem is asking for the percent of increase in his salary. So we're asking the question, 200 is what percent of his salary? 400. Did you notice that 200 is just half of 400? Okay, so you can take a shortcut. Since 200 is just half of 400, then the answer is half is 0.5 or 50%. So the, the correct answer is 50%. Let us say you didn't see that. Well, you can simply continue from here. If you didn't notice that because you know you're under time pressure, so sometimes you can't see that this is just half of that. Don't worry, you just proceed. So divide both sides by 400. There, cancel this. So X percent is, learn to cancel the zeros, cancel the zeros. You're left with 2 over 4. 2 by 2 is 1. 4 by 2 is 2. 1 over 2. And 1 half is 0.5. And 0.5 is, move the decimal point to places to the right, 50% equals X. See, you will still get exactly the same answer. So the correct answer is letter D. to you. I was of service to you. Don't forget to add kindness, subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Smash again the subscribe button and hit the bell button. Bye!